Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I've got a weekly sales update video for you guys for Etsy and eBay. Um, it was a slow one this week <laughs> in comparison to last week, it was really good, it was pretty much hopping, especially on Etsy, um, it was a lot slower this week. So you know, that's just the ebbs and flows of the business and especially summertime. So I'm not too worried, um, but here we go. Let me show you what all I sold and what kind of profit I made this week. Okay, so first of all, I have this sewing pattern. It's not vintage, nothing particularly special. I picked it up for 79 cents at a thrift store, but it was uncut and complete. And it sold for $5.95 on Etsy, buy a paid shipping. Um, these were my biggest sale of the week. Um, a pair of vintage Reeboks. These are the high tops from the 1980s. They're the uh, princess freestyles. Um, they had these really cool uh, like turquoise details in here and of course the Union Jack. They were in good condition considering their age. Um, you can see that the soles are in pretty good shape. Um, obviously a little bit of wear and tear here and there but overall very good. I gave them a good clean and I picked these up for a dollar at a thrift store uh, about two weeks ago. They were listed for about one week and they sold for $59.95 and buy a paid shipping. Um, this is just another little vintage children's books from 1974. This is obviously Cinderella. Um, illustrations were phenomenal inside. They were really so beautiful. Um, so I figured even though it was in such hard shape, I mean, you can see here. Well, we went ahead and did a close up to the buy and knew what they were getting. It was in bad nick, but I figured it would be wonderful for like nursery decor or anything like that, really. It was just such a nice piece. And um, picked this up for 25 cents at a church rummage sale and it sold for $7.95. And buy a pay shipping. And um, this was the last of my vintage button lots. <laughs> and I picked these up for 10 cents, I think they were, per jar at the little church room itself from this amazing little old lady who was just so much fun to talk to. Um, like I said, I paid about 10 cents and it sold for $5.95. Buy a paid shipping. Um, and again, um, just another little uh, sewing pattern. This is one that made vacuum covers <laughs> in a sewing machine cover I don't know I guess this is the better alternative to seeing your vacuum cleaner I'm not sure but it was complete and uncut um, and 1993 so technically vintage on Etsy as well um, I picked this up at a thrift store for 79 cents and the buyer paid 5.95 plus shipping and that was it for Etsy. Oh my goodness. Let's hope for a better week. <laughs> um, okay, and then on to eBay. This is a professional bartender kit. Um, this was actually lying around our house. This was my husband's way back in the day when he did like bartending as a hobby. Um, so it was lying around and we're just kind of selling some stuff off, trying to pay off some debt and kind of minimalize um, the belongings of our house as much as possible. And I took a best offer on this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, if you can tell there's a theme here, I'm starting to get out of the free shipping thing. Um, I'm noticing that people still buy my items even though shipping on and honestly, it is just so much less stressful for me. Um, but I play with it back and forth. There are some things I will do free shipping on. Some things, if they've been sitting a while, I'll go ahead and alter that um, in the listing. But honestly, it's just trial and error and it depends what works on you for your business, right? But right now, I'm super favoring by a paying shipping. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, this little guy here sat for quite a while with a lot of watches. It is a little Victoria's Secret uh, plush, as you can see there, from 2002. Her name is Lily. She did have a counterpart, I believe, a little male dog with, I want to say a bow tie. We'll see. Um, but anyway, I picked her up for 50 cents at a um, church room at sale. Um, she was new with tags there. Um, and she sold for $12.99 and by a paid shipping. Um, this I picked up last weekend and listed um, yeah, maybe five days ago. Um, and actually, the price is a little higher than the comps that are up there right now just because I was willing to wait because it was easier to store and it's a pretty popular game. And lo and behold, it sold within about five days, so that's cool. And it was in super good condition, and as you can see here, it was complete. Um, so I paid, I think, $2 for this at a yard sale last week and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Um, this I've had in my storage, or in my inventory, I should say, for quite a while. Got this from a thrift store, and I paid $3 for it, just because I thought it was super cool. <laughs> super cool and retro. A little bit of wear to the, um, to the sticker there, as you can see, but still a really nice piece, just like an outbox for a desk. And um, like I said, paid $3 for it, and I took a best offer of $27, and buyer paid shipping as well. 
Like, honestly, glad to see it go because it's a big piece to store. <laughs> and this I picked up in the state sale. This is a scarf and it's from Mackinac Island. I hope I'm saying that right in Michigan. Um, and I had some really cool designs on it, like uh, these little like horse and carriages and these lampposts. I don't know. It was you can see the name there. It was pretty awesome. And um, it did have a few makeup stains on it, as you can see there, which I disclose in the pictures and in the um description and the buyers already left feedback is very happy with it and i took a best offer of twenty dollars for this and buyer paid shipping and i think i paid a dollar for it at the estate sale and um, i paid i think a dollar for this at a yard sale it's a little toddler girls ut vols uh, cheerleader outfit as you can see there um and yeah this sat for quite a while but obviously football season is a coming and <laughs> so it sold for 14.99 and buy a paid shipping it was super cute um, and this i picked up just a few weeks ago at a big estate sale and um, that estate sale had been like super picked clean but there was all this vintage camera stuff left over and i didn't know what i was looking at <laughs> i didn't have a clue but i knew what i thought looked cool and i really wanted to learn was the main thing that i had uh had been talking about with that so i did um this was just like a little leather case and it was full of camera filters um as you can see there are lots of different ones all vintage um so i kind of did a little bit of research took a few good pictures threw them up and i took a best offer of twenty dollars and buy a paid shipping and as i pieced it out in that lot i actually ended up paying 71 cents for this entire thing here um so you know it's pretty good profit um so yes here are my numbers for the week Brace yourselves. <laughs> um, my gross profit this week was two hundred and fifteen dollars and seventy two cents. Um, overall, I paid twelve dollars and fourteen cents um, in buying every product that you saw here. And so after that cost there for buying the object, after the cost of listing, and also the final value fees on uh, both platforms, Etsy and eBay, my net profit this week was $182.60. So I am pleased to have made some money. I have my fingers and toes crossed for a better week next week. Um, I've been like on turbocharged listing today, so prayerfully that will help um but thank you guys so much for tuning in for another sales videos i really appreciate it i love the comments thank you so much for sharing i feel like i've had so much encouragement from you guys and i have learned so much as well about uh, a lot of the pieces that i've bought um yeah i really really appreciate it. it's been a lot of fun getting to know some of you and um, so please feel free to comment away um please give me a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more and uh, guys i really hope you have an awesome week i will talk to you soon bye